Okay, let's begin by finding a seated position. You can sit on your sofa, you can sit on the floor, cushion. Hey, Kelly from Falmouth. Um, so yeah, wherever you're seated, just make sure that it's somewhere where you can feel for that length in the spine. So we wanna begin by rolling the shoulders up back and down a few times to feel into what's going on. Do the shoulders move easily? Do they feel a little sticky? Take them the other direction as well. Then let the arms settle wherever feels comfortable for you. Hello, Eric. So we're just coming into a seated position, starting to close the eyes or gaze down the nose. Hi, Lindsay. And you can begin today actually by kind of physically grounding yourself. So I'm going to suggest that you take your hands and you start pressing into your thighs, into your feet, kind of squeezing the calf muscle into the bone and pressing down the parts of your body that are touching the ground or that are touching the chair, wherever you're sitting. Hi, Jordan. Welcome. So we're sitting down and we are pressing our legs, basically pressing our feet. You can also take your hands to your hips and kind of like plug down with the hands, like a downward pushing movement. Hi, Rasheen. Hola. Como estas? And then we're going to take the hands to the shoulders, give them a squeeze. You can do this um, keeping the eyes closed or just kind of looking down the nose. This is a way to get out of the head and into the body, feeling our own touch. From there, let's come to stillness. And in your stillness, you'll begin to notice the breath. Bring all the focus to your nostrils and to the skin above your upper lip. So you can feel the air coming in through the nostrils and out through the nostrils. If for any reason you can't breathe through the nose, of course, feel free to breathe through the mouth. But really notice the quality of the air that you're breathing. Notice the temperature of the air. You'll probably notice the difference between the inhale and the exhale in the sense that the inhale may be cooler and the exhale may be a little warmer. And as you sit here quietly focusing on the breath, Start to pay particular attention to the natural pause between the inhale and exhale, the natural pause between the exhale and the inhale. And notice how that natural pause carries you through from one to the other. You can place your hands over your chest here and take a moment to set an intention for today's practice. So I'm sure all of you are here for all kinds of different reasons. You might like to set your intention based on what brought you here. For example, my intention is to cultivate a sense of presence with this practice. Whatever comes to mind first, generally, can be the right thing. Let's take a deep breath into that intention. And then relax the hands wherever's comfy and drop the chin all the way down to the chest. 
Take a little roll from left to right, easing out the neck here. Then gently take the gaze up and take a little moment here with the chin tilted up to feel into that sense of opening of exposure across the front of the neck. If this feels a bit weird for your neck, you can also support it with the hands. Oh, that feels better for me. Take a few deep breaths here. Then relax the hands down and we're going to get straight up into standing. So give everything a bit of a shake, a wiggle, and we'll come up to the tops of our mats. Feet are hip distance apart. Grow tall up through the crown of the head, hands by the side, spread the fingers. Start to feel for a sense here of drawing in and up through the belly. Hug the lower ribs in ever so slightly. And then bring your palms to touch and bring your thumb just about an inch away from your sternum. Then lift the chest to meet the thumb so that can help you to roll your shoulders back and down and to feel into that sense of expansion across the chest. From there, inhale, sweep the arms all the way up. Exhale, swan dive forward into your fold. Take a few moments in your fold here, lengthening out through one leg and then the other. So you can sway from side to side as you lengthen the left side, the right side. Head is really heavy. From there, frame your front feet with your hands. So you might need to really bend your knees a lot to do this. Step right foot back, right knee down. Inhale to lunge. Let's stay here for a few breaths. So front knee is over front ankle. You're drawing up and back through the left hip crease and your right hip is rolling forward. Feel for pushing down through all the parts that touch the floor as though you're rooting down in order to rise up. So the hands can be light, the top of the head lifts up. You're finding that length in the body. Inhale here. Exhale, sweep the arms down to frame the front foot. Step back to modified plank. Inhale here to push the floor. Exhale, squeeze elbows in, lower chest. Push the pelvis down. Inhale, lift the chest, baby cobra, gaze down the nose. Exhale, forehead to mat. Inhale, through your all fours. Tuck the toes. Exhale, squeeze belly and chest to thighs, downward facing dog. Pedal out through the legs. From here, we're going to... Plug down through the left foot and inhale, reach the right leg up. Point the right toes to the ground. Exhale, squeeze knee to nose in plank and plant the foot. You might need to help it forward to get up between the hands. Left knee lowers. Inhale, reach the arms up. Let's stay here for a few moments, checking in again. So this time we're drawing up and back through the right hip crease and the left hip is gently rolling forward. You can also squeeze the left glute here to help feel for that sense of the left hip reaching forward. We're rooting through the base of the body. We're rising up through the top of the body. Inhale, exhale, frame the front foot. Take a step forward, fold. Inhale, rise the arms all the way up above the head. Exhale, palms to heart center. Other side. Inhale, sweep your arms all the way up. Exhale, swan dive down, hinge from the hips, drop the head. This time the left foot goes back, the left knee goes down. Inhale, sweep your arms up. Let's stay here for a few breaths. Feel for a sense of lifting up through the whole of your central line. Roll shoulders down away from the ears, even though the arms are lifted. Inhale here. 
exhale, sweep arms down, frame front foot. Take it to a full plank or a modified plank. Inhale, push the floor. Exhale to lower down, chest on the floor. Inhale, pelvis pushes down, chest lift, shoulders roll down away from ears. Exhale, forehead touches the mat. Inhale, push through the palms to all fours, tuck the toes. Exhale, hips lift, belly to thighs. You can pedal out through either leg or you can come to stillness. Plant down through your right foot. Lift your left foot, left toes point to floor. Inhale, reach back through left heel. Exhale, shoulders over wrists, knee squeezes to chest. Plant the foot, maybe help it forward. Drop right knee. Inhale, sweep arms up. Coming into our lunge here. Come back to that awareness of the breath that we started with. So really notice the air coming into the nostrils and out of the nostrils. Notice how the breath moves in the body. Inhale, reach up through fingertips. Exhale, sweep arms down, frame front foot, step forward. And inhale to rise all the way up to standing. Exhale, palms to heart center. From here. Inhale, reach all the way up, stretch. Exhale, push back with the bum, hinge from the hips, forward fold. Remember, you can bend your knees as much as you need. Inhale, flat back, long legs, halfway lift. Let's stay here for a few breaths, gazing down at the mat. Slight micro bend in the knees, reaching back through the sit bones and forward through the crown of the head. Slight engagement of the core, hugging in lower belly, shoulders back away from ears. Inhale here, exhale, bend knees, drop head, forward fold. Inhale, back to halfway lift, long back, long legs. Exhale, forward fold. Step all the way back to your plank. Inhale here to push the ground. Exhale, knees lower, chest lowers. Untuck the toes, push the pelvis down and inhale to lift the chest. We're gonna stay here for a few breaths with the hands lifted. So you're gazing directly down at the mat. So the back of your neck is long. The hands are lifted and the elbows are squeezing back. It's like you're squeezing the backs of the shoulder blades together behind the back. Five, four, three, two, one. Inhale here. Exhale, lower your head, lower the hands. Inhale, push through all fours. Exhale, downward facing dog. Your left foot stays planted, your right foot lifts up, point right toes down. Inhale, reach back through right heel. Exhale, squeeze right knee to chest, shoulders over wrists. Let's hover here for three, two, one, and then drop the foot, drop the left knee. You might need to help that foot forward a little bit. From here, we're gonna do a few poses from this lunge. So if you're on a hard floor, you might actually want a cushion or to fold over the mat beneath your back knee. That can be more comfortable. So we've got our hands on our hips, our right knee above our right ankle. And we're gonna move through a series of motions here. So inhale to straighten that leg, draw the toes back towards you. Exhale, plant the foot, hips come forward. Inhale. Lift the toes off the floor, back towards you, straighten the leg. Exhale, plant foot, lean the hips forward. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. This time, as you come up, you can either stay here, keep reaching the toes back to the body. That might already be enough of a stretch on the back of this leg. If you want a bit more, you can inhale to find length in the spine and exhale to draw up and back through the right hip crease, lowering the body over the leg, framing the foot with the hands or holding onto the leg for support. Let the head drop if you're in your forward fold. 
Wherever you are, keep drawing the toes back towards the body. And come back to that breath again. Really notice the journey of the breath in the body. Inhale to lift up if you are in your forward fold and exhale to bring the knee over the ankle. We're gonna reach our hands now on the inside of that leg. So you might wanna give yourself more room and toe heel the right foot out a little bit. So we've got our hands roughly beneath our shoulders. And you can stay here, squeezing the right knee in towards the right shoulder. Or if you feel like you could get a little deeper into this posture, come down onto your forearms without letting the knee splay out. So for this one, we're squeezing the knee in, whether you're on your forearms or your hands. Then take a relaxed gaze down at the mat and feel the breath carry you through any sensations of intensity that may be present in the body. If you're on your forearms, inhale to the hands now. And then we'll all come to all fours here. And you can wiggle up your hips from side to side like a dog wagging its tail. Then tuck your right toes. We've got our wrists beneath our shoulders, our left knee beneath our left hip, and we raise the right leg up behind us. Inhale, squeeze the knee into the chest. Exhale, kick the heel all the way back and up. Inhale, knee to chest. Exhale, kick heel back and up. And then follow your breath for eight more. Seven. Six, squeeze the glute at the top of the kick. Five. Four, three, what do you want to kick out of your life? Two, and one. Drop that knee to the floor. Cat cows, inhale, belly down, chest forward. Exhale, round the back. Inhale, gaze up. Exhale, round the back, gaze in. One more time, inhale, curve the spine. Exhale, round the back. Come into kneeling here and take the support for your right knee if you um, had that on the other side and it was helpful for you. Step your left foot forward, hands to hips. Inhale, left toes up, straighten the leg. Exhale, plant the foot, lean forward. Inhale, back, toes up. Exhale, foot planted, lean forward. Inhale, up and back. Exhale, forward. And this time we're coming into our half Hanumanasana, half splits. Same as the other side. You can stay here if you're already getting enough of a stretch. Keep pulling the little toe edge of the foot back towards you. Pull all the toes back towards you. Or inhale to find length in the spine. Exhale to lift the chest up and over that leg. Wherever you are, come back to your breath. Feel the rise and fall of the inhale and the exhale. If you're in your forward fold, let's inhale to come up and everyone can exhale to plant the foot. Take the arms to the inside of that left leg this time. You can toe heel the foot out a little to give yourself more room. Wrists are beneath shoulders. You might also want to step the foot slightly forward, see how it feels for you. And we're either going to stay here or we're going to come to the forearms, whatever works for you. And keep squeezing the left knee in towards your left shoulder.
And again, let the breath carry you through any sensations in the body that may not be entirely comfortable. It's like the breath is our anchor into the present moment. If you're on your forearms, inhale to come to your hands and then we'll all come back to all fours. Shake your hips out like a dog wagging its tail and then set up for the other side. So we're going to change the breath on this side simply to notice for yourself um, how it feels to do the breath differently with the same movement. So this time take an inhale, exhale, squeeze left knee to chest, inhale, kick left heel up and back, toes to the floor, exhale, knee to chest, inhale, kick heel back, exhale, knee to chest, inhale, kick heel back, squeeze left glute, exhale, knee to chest, seven more, six, five, four, three, really boot something away as you kick back, two, engage the abs as you curl forward, and one. From there, it's your choice if you want to come to a child's pose with the knees as wide as the mat, the bum on the heels, head down, or you might want to come into puppy pose with the hips above the knees, walking the forearms forward and dropping the forehead or the chest to the ground. Entirely up to you which option you go for. Either way, let the chest reach down towards the earth as a gesture of surrender. And when you're ready, find your own way to a seated posture. If you've got your cushion handy, you might want to sit on it. And we're going to reach the legs out in front of us. Draw the little toe edges of the feet back. Push away through the arches of the feet. Have a little bend in the knees if you've got tight hamstrings. Roll the shoulders up, back and down. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, hinge from the hips to lift the chest up and over so the belly moves towards the thighs. Then slowly sweep your arms down to either the floor, the shins, the toes, Wherever is accessible for you, for your forward fold, Paschimottanasana, drop the head. And feel the breath carry you into this forward fold. So you inhale, the spine lengthens, the chest lifts up. You exhale, the chest bows, the shoulders relax. Keep flexing the feet. Inhale, roll up. Take the feet out in front of you. Take the arms by the side of the legs and slowly start to lean back. Then we'll hold it here for a moment. Lower belly hugging in. Reach the knees forward and feel for a sense of reaching the toes forward. Feel for a sense of the pelvis rotating under as we lean back a little more. Lean back a little more, hold it here if you can. Keep breathing, maybe smile, even if it's fake. Mine's more of a grimace. 
and then lower back a little bit more. Oh, keep reaching the toes forward, the knees forward. It's really hard to talk at the same time as doing this. And finally, lower down a little bit more and collapse on the floor into your Shavasana. Let the legs and the arms go as wide as is comfortable for you. Feel the eyes close. Take a deliberate yawn here, or maybe a swallow. You can like pucker the lips together a few times and make a sound. Then let the mouth relax completely. Notice the point between your eyebrows where you might sometimes furrow the brow or frown and consciously relax this part of the forehead, feeling a sense of relaxation spread from the very center of the brow all the way across the forehead, all the way across the scalp. Back of the neck relaxes, sides of the neck relax, front of the neck relaxes. Right shoulder relaxes and relaxation spreads all the way down the right arm to the tips of the right fingertips. Right thumb relaxes. That wave of relaxation spreads all the way down the right side of the chest, the back of the right shoulder, all the muscles in the right between the right rib cage, the right side of the abdomen, the right side of the lower back relaxes, right hip relaxes, right glute relaxes, right thigh, right knee, right lower leg and right foot relax. All the toes on the right foot relax. Guide your awareness to the left shoulder. Left shoulder relaxes, sending relaxation spreading all the way down the left arm to the tips of the left fingers, left thumb relaxes. Left side of the chest relaxes, left side of the upper back and the lower back relaxes. Left side of the rib cage and the abdomen relax. Left hip relaxes, left glute relaxes. Left thigh, left knee, left lower leg, left foot relax. And all the toes on the left foot relax. So that as you inhale and exhale here, the body is invited to sink a little deeper into relaxation, letting go. If you feel called to stay here relaxing, then you can just close down your device and stay in your Shavasana. If you're ready to continue on with your day, then you can consciously deepen the breath. Start to wiggle the fingers and the toes, rock the head from left to right on the floor. Reach the arms up behind you, stretch the legs out, point the toes, spread the fingers, take a full body stretch. Hug the knees in towards the chest and roll over to one side to curl up in a little ball. Stay here for a moment. Know that you are safe, you are supported and you are loved. Then whichever hand is on the arm on top, press that hand into the floor. Take a moment to feel the stability of the ground beneath your hand so you can really press the hand down. How solid is the ground beneath? 
and use that pressing down to gently guide yourself to seated. Close the eyes if they're open or take the gaze down. Find your seated position and we'll end as we began in a cycle by bringing the hands to the heart, either in prayer position or with the palms over the chest. Take a moment here to bring to your mind the intention that you set at the start of practice and check in with yourself. Is this, is this an intention that you'd like to actually take off the mat into the rest of your day? Or is it an intention you'd like to stick with working through during your movement practice? Take a deep breath here. Blink the eyes open, stretch the face a bit, wiggle the nose, raise the eyebrows. <laughs> and you're ready for the rest of the day. Thank you so much for joining me. And as always, um, let me know how you got on today and let me know if there's anything you'd ever like to do, especially. Bye bye.